Hello, hello, and welcome to... Is this how I'm just gonna start all of my videos now? Um, okay, so here is a speed paint of a rather old picture that I drew and posted a couple of weeks ago. Those of you who may or may not recognize this, I guess you saw it in the thumbnail, so you know what picture I'm talking about, but it is a picture of Hinata Shoyo from Haikyuu. I probably just like butchered his name a bunch. I'm not very good at pronouncing Japanese names. I'm trying my best, but dang, it's very hard for me. I am very white. But um, anyways, I guess, yeah, so this is a picture or I guess a doodle of him that I made a couple of weeks ago. And I used the, a new brush, a graphite pencil brush that I downloaded it. Bleh, that I downloaded um like the night before because I want to try new things and I'm I get really bored of my art looking the same and even if I can change a little thing like a, a tiny bit of a picture whether it's my whole art style or just the brush that I use you know I'll take it so that's what I did those of you who know me will know that Hinata is actually my number one favorite fictional character of all time. <laughs> he is the protagonist of that volleyball anime that I sometimes mention. And he is uh, pretty much the opposite of me. Like, we have completely opposite personalities. He's very extroverted, very just out there. He makes friends with everyone. He's very energetic. He's actually just like a living ball of sunshine. Whereas I am the complete opposite. If anyone who watches Haikyuu, you know Kenma? Uh, yeah, that's me <laughs> in real life. I'm Kenma. So that's kind of how opposite we are. And I wanted to talk about in this video my favorite fictional characters just because I thought it would be really interesting. And I was wondering, did my voice sound weird? I was wondering if somebody's favorite fictional character says anything about them because... My favorite fictional characters are kind of all over the place. So you know how I said Hinata was my number one? Well, he's, like I said, he's just this positive ball of energy, just so happy and so friendly and the friendliest guy you'll ever know. He makes friends with his rivals, all that stuff. Another favorite fictional character of mine is, I can't, I cannot pronounce this, this guy's name, so I'm gonna, oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> he's from... Gintama, Gintama, how do you pronounce that? Gintama, Gin, Gintama, whatever. Um, Sogo, Sogo, Okita, Okita. I'll just call him that. He's also my other favorite fictional character, and he is 100% sadist. He's so, he's just so the opposite of Hinata. And so I'm wondering, like, does that say anything about me? Because... I am neither of those characters. I'm not, I'm not like either of them, honestly. So I don't know why they're my favorite, but they just are. I have a lot of favorites, though, from both shows. Like, uh, Katsuda. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, Katsuda. Uh, he's also one of my favorite ones, but I'm not, I'm nothing like him. Yeah. Does that say anything about you as a person? Because, like, what if your favorite fictional character is, like, a murderer or something, you know? It doesn't mean that you're a murderer, and it doesn't mean that you are okay with what they do, but they're just your favorite, right? So does it say anything about you at all? Like about your personality or, or the actions that you're willing to overlook? I don't understand. But yeah, that's just kind of a question I had for you guys. If you guys wanted to like comment and tell me what you think, because on one side, I feel like at least for Hinata, I feel like he's the kind of person that I want to be. Like I want to be so happy and so friendly and outgoing that everybody just has to you know like ends up liking me somehow even if we're rivals yeah so I don't know maybe that's what it is but at the same time I don't want to be like any other fictional character that I like because they're all bad oh my god it's very confusing I don't know how to feel another thing about fictional characters um, it doesn't really have to do anything with this but I remember when I first started watching Haikyuu and I was falling in love with this little kid right here in this picture, I was kind of trying to deny that I loved him so much because at the time, my very, you know, num my number one fictional character that I loved was Link from, you know, all the Legend of Zelda games. And I kept saying, you know, like, there, no, there's no way 
that I love anyone more than Link. Link is my number one fictional character that I love. There's no way that he's going to be replaced. And so I kind of denied my love for this guy for a very long time. And it wasn't until recently, like sometime at the end of last year, when I was just like, okay, you know, I, I can't hide it anymore. This is this little kid is my favorite. I Link has to be my number two for now because because this little ball of sunshine is my number one. So that's just kind of something else I wanted to mention. And as you can see from the speed paint, I kind of changed the colors a bit to, I don't know, give it like a different kind of feeling, I guess. I can't really describe it, but the colors before were very saturated and now everything's just kind of toned down a bit. Very bright and angelic and in the end of the speed paint you'll see that I kind of gave him this kind of halo around his head kind of just a little bit you know because he's just an angel but yeah I guess that's pretty much all uh this is the, the speed paint the speed paint is over it's done it's I just talked about fictional characters and some of my favorite ones and yeah I would really appreciate if you guys would give me your opinions on this on whether fictional characters, if you think they say anything about you as a person, because some fictional characters are very bad, but they could be your favorite, so I don't think that says anything about you. Alrighty, alrighty, I am done. Thank you so much for watching. I do speed paints every Saturday and other videos every Tuesday, so feel free to subscribe to keep on to that. And um, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!